I saw a quote that said, don't tell me you've been married 12 years and you've been crying 11 of them. <laughs> and that's my attitude to a lot of people that be like, stay married. And in my world, if I had to choose between having a husband and being a trailblazer, trendsetter, and um, mentor, um, there, there's, there's no comparison between which one I would choose. So y'all sitting on here always acting like somehow being married is an accomplishment. When you're getting your ass beat. When your husband is out there cheating on you. Starting whole other families. He really doesn't like you half the damn time. But yet you still sitting on your high horse. With your black eye. And your feelings hurt. Crying at night by yourself. Trying to put down other women talking about at least you got a husband. You keep him. Keep him. Because when mine got out of pocket, I was like, you can go. I will not be the bane of your existence and you damn sure will not be the bane of mine. If we can't find a way to get along and be happy and move forward and build, then then we don't we shouldn't be together. We don't need to be together. Go be happy. Go be with somebody that you like. So all of y'all trying to act like me not being married is some kind of, um, I don't know, negative thing. I don't know. Negative. I don't know. This must be the first video that you've ever watched from me. Cause anybody that knows me knows that my ex-husband and his decisions set me up to be the person that I am now. And I'll take this life any day. Over the marriage that I was in. And I had a really good marriage. I want to be clear about that part. We had a really good marriage. For the vast majority of the time that we were married. But the moment. He decided to go left. I set him free. And, I, and I'm living my best life. So. <laughs> yeah. I don't care about that part. 